Hello guys and welcome back to Malt Mondays. Today I'm going to be taking a look at something a little bit special and it is an Akintoshin 21 year old. Um, this is the very top of the Akintoshin line in terms of age statements. And once you get past the 21 year old you get into their vintage or specialty bottlings. So this is the top of their standard line. Now normally I do more budget friendly whiskey than this as it does run about $200 a bottle. But I noticed that there's not a lot of information out there on this whiskey. Um, not many other people have reviewed it. So because of that, I wanted to go ahead and do that for you guys so that you can kind of get an opinion on it uh, if it was something that you're interested in picking up. So the first thing we'll go ahead and take a look at is right at the very top of their box, they say that every drop triple distilled. And that is Akintoshin's thing. Akintoshin was originally founded by Irish guys who immigrated to Scotland or they fled to Scotlanders. And in 1823, they established Akintoshin as a distillery. So because of their Irish heritage, they went ahead and triple distilled their whiskey rather than double distilling it like Scottish guys do, which just gives it a little bit of a cleaner taste. So if we open this up, You've got, you know, a beautiful box here, all gold lettering, um, and it just talks a little bit about two casks, you know, so Northern American oak and Spanish sherry casks are what they've used for this whiskey. The American oak to get a rich citrus and vanilla, and the Spanish sherry to add a depth of nuttiness. Uh, we carefully marry these casks to create the fresh gooseberry and vanilla smoothness of Akintosh and 21-year-old. Um, and it talks, you know, it mentions again, triple distilled. And then in here we have the tasting notes and the whiskey. So we'll go ahead and take this out. I'll set this over here. So the first thing I'll point out is that this is bottled at 43% ABV. So that's nice to get a... Uh, Get a little bit more whiskey there and even though this is a $200 bottle um, they're they're pricing it reasonably for the age statement uh, Valveni's 21 year old is $200 uh, the Glenmorangie Signet which is non-age statement but they say that most of what's in there is around 20 years old that's a pretty competitive price so this isn't being overpriced, but they're, they they could probably have brought it down a little bit. Now, they don't say whether or not they use all natural coloring, so we have to assume that they do use caramel. I would say they haven't used much at all. Um, just because it is such a light golden color and being 21 years old, normally it would be much darker than that. So that probably means that it's natural color and that the casks that they've used are refill, not first fill sherry and not first fill bourbon. Um, because if they were, you would get a much darker color here. So we'll go ahead and see how it smells. Oh my gosh. It smells incredible. Um, the nose on this it has a little bit of that clean smell that triple distilled Irish whiskeys have where the malt is present, but it's very subtle. But there's a, there's a mintiness like a, like a spearmint. There's a little bit of heather and some honey on it. Yeah, this the nose on this is just amazingly complex, but not overpowering. So we'll go ahead and see how it tastes. You could just roll this around in your mouth forever and no burn. There's milk chocolate right up front. There's malty creaminess, um, lots of vanilla, lots of vanilla from that bourbon. There's just maybe a hint of sherry on the back end. It's not sweet, 
but it's succulent. Uh, the finish is a little bit dry and tannic, um, probably from the 21 years of age, but there's something, there's something else there. Maybe it's apricot. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little bit of, um, not, not as strong as like an apricot covered in chocolate, but like a zest of apricot in there. Um, with that, with the milk chocolate and the honey and the vanilla, it's phenomenal. Um, do I think this is worth $200? I don't know. Um, definitely up there in that 150 range though. Um, especially if you're a fan of Akintoshin, you don't want to miss this. Um, wonderful whiskey. Uh, I would probably give it, if I was going to score it, a 92 out of 100, um, and only taking off a few points for the price. Um, just because I feel like if this was 150 to 175, it would be no brainer, buy it. It's totally worth it. At 200, um, I think it's a little bit more price to be a special occasion. Uh, you know, getting it as a gift for someone or for someone that's a fan of Akintoshin rather than buying it just for the value of what's in the bottle. That being said, however, I can't find any fault in the flavor or the nose. There's no astringency. There's no bitter notes going on. Um, I will just say this, because it is triple distilled, it's a very light whiskey. And if you want deep, really rich flavorings like an older Macallan might have, um, your money will be better spent getting a Macallan 18 year old. This is a much more delicate whiskey that you have to understand that, you know, going into it, that this isn't going to overpower you with flavor. Uh, you're going to have to work a little bit to pick out those flavors, actually roll it around in your mouth a little bit, really let it coat the inside of your mouth. You'll be able to get a lot of the flavor that's there. So if you see this under 200 and you like Akintoshin, definitely pick it up. Similar in style to Glenfiddich, 18 year old, but I'm not going to say this is absolutely worth $200. So please like, share, subscribe, and come back next week.